Hello, boy and girls. My name is Hotsas T, and now to something completely different. This week, I thought we have a look at my C block world in Factorio, and uh, let's look how uh, how well that goes. So, for uh, those who are not familiar with uh, C block. It's basically Factorio with uh, Bob and Angels, but instead of a uh, normal world, uh, you start on a tiny island uh, and you don't have any uh, ore fields. Uh, all you have is, if I scroll out here, it's basically all C and instead of uh, uh, Bytos and Spires as enemies, you have only uh, worms to contend with, uh, but uh, some of those can be uh, quite a bit to, uh, to handle because they are giant worms and those are not even the, the biggest ones and there are various uh, types, so we have poisonous, those will kill you almost instantly and we have uh, explosive I think there are fire and then the, the normal spittles so uh, aliens are not the uh, biggest uh, issue here but uh, as you can see I started out with uh, a small block on here and uh, some resources so basically the first thing uh, you will do is uh, uh, you set up uh, a filtration uh, uh, machine where you uh, use uh, electrolyzers uh, on the uh, water to get out uh, um, uh, hydrogen and oxygen which you don't care about so uh, that's all burned up. What you care about is the uh, uh, what's this called like in English? Slag. So what you care about is the slag. You uh, break this up into crushed stone and from that you can create landfill. Uh, right from the from the start at least landfill uh, in this uh, sand format. You have that from the start and don't need to uh, research that first. And then you can expand uh, the area and basically around here uh, I got uh, a few uh, windmills that uh, you start with, so 120 that can uh, generate you uh, a bit of uh, starter energy. Um, so you can power uh, the, the initial setup but uh, soon you have to uh, uh, proceed and uh, uh, do a bit of uh, research and you get your power setup that's uh, based on, uh, on pallets and uh, on here to get pallets you have to uh, create this uh, uh, cellulose from um, green algae and uh, what I soon figured out is uh, the power that uh, I need uh, to, uh, to produce the burning materials for my, uh, for my uh, engines that's about two thir or one third of the power that I uh, generate. So that's basically why I then uh, switched over to uh, solar energy, which, well, let's let's be frank, it it takes out quite a bit of space. Um, but uh, in the in the combination with uh, with uh, accumulators, um, if we have a look at it, uh, I can uh, generate about uh, two 
megawatt of uh, output a bit more and if we have a look at the graph here at this point my uh, accus are uh, fully recharged so uh, that's basically half half the time uh, uh, where the uh, sun shines and the uh, solar panels uh, provide 100 percent of the uh, power output so I still have a bit uh, to go there but uh, on the other hand um, not everything is running so that's basically uh, the uh, power setup and uh, once you have a bit of uh, uh, power through your uh, windmills uh, you have uh, initial uh, uh, research uh, ongoing uh, then you basically go ahead and um, create from slag, you create uh, crushed stone and uh, from that mineralized water that you can then feed into a crystallizer where you get out the uh, sulfurite and steratite ore and uh, in a uh, uh, first setup um, you can uh, crush that and then basically oh let's switch to the map that's faster down here you can uh, break uh, the uh, crushed uh, ores up to get uh, basically various uh, different ores and from those two um, you get uh, if we have a look at it uh, in uh, here you get iron and copper and uh, copper and uh, and iron and uh, as you research more technologies you can uh, insert all these steps uh, in here which will uh, uh, basically add more different ores to the uh, output and if you have the full pipeline um, you will no longer end up with uh, slag output at this stage um, but only uh, valuable ores so um, this is the basic setup with this crystallizer and then one step uh, further you can um, basically uh, uh, do this uh, this middle tier where you create from slag and uh, a sulfuric acid uh, you create um, slag slurry that you feed into a filtration unit and together with uh, charcoal filters and purified water which you can create from uh, hydrogen and uh, oxygen so there we can reuse uh, some of the uh, gases that we uh, burned previously uh, you can create mineral sludge and uh, that then can be uh, fed into uh, the crystallizers directly and uh, produce more uh, more ores uh, and uh, in, a, in a clean output so uh, uh, in here you get both ore types but from the uh, other ones you only get one of those and then the rest of the process is the same so but as always with uh, Factorio it's you need more you need more and that's what uh, this whole setup above here is uh, we have a whole uh, bunch of crystallizers uh, to create the uh, raw ore and then lines of uh, uh, crushers um, that will take up the uh, first step and then it will uh, go in here and together one output of here uh, we have these uh, crystals and with these crystals we can create various uh, catalyzers and uh, with catalyzers 
and the output from the uh, various uh, intermediary steps here we can uh, create more pure um, more pure ores so for example if we uh, figure out um, we are short on copper we can uh, add a dedicated line that only creates copper ore and on this side here that's basically all the uh, the ore processing and uh, as you can see some ores we have we are already uh, buffering here uh, while we are not buffering iron and copper we are not that far off at least down here we have uh, almost we have full warehouses uh, full of the uh, plates um, what goes away is uh, somewhere here in between and this is not true for all so for example 10 we have only a third of what we uh, would need there um, lead or lead is is okay I think then um, the uh, uh, silicon mono something always an issue because we have uh, uh, not enough uh, silicon ore um, gold is also always lacking and uh, what's the most bothersome at least at the moment is the uh, aluminium ore uh, because uh, creating aluminium aluminium is used in a lot of processing steps and uh, creating aluminium uh, uses uh, um, sulfuric hydrogen what's it called it's in here somewhere um, if I can find it yeah and this is basically produced up here by splitting up uh, salt water and I get uh, uh, chloride gas out of it and hydrogen and that in turn is then used for uh, various uh, processing steps but uh, if those warehouses are full this does not run and uh, if I basically if I'm not producing enough uh, aluminium uh, then I will also have issues with uh, gold processing with uh, um, uh, what's this um, titanium processing and uh, tungsten processing yeah so basically here above we have uh, ore creation or processing to get the output and then here in the back we have the main bus that goes all the way down here and on this side basically it starts here is the uh, um, unit uh, to uh, uh, get all the uh, circuits uh, produced so first uh, I have to uh, uh, grow some trees in these uh, uh, arboretums that then can be sawed up to create wood for, uh, for wooden boards uh, wooden boards go into uh, the uh, basic boards, the yellow basic boards, then we need resistors um, and together with uh, uh, soldier and the basic boards I can create the, the yellow circuit boards and with that and iron we get the classical green circuits.
then down here we have transistors uh, the red basic port which uh, uh, uses uh, phenolic uh, boards that's created from uh, wooden boards and uh, resin which of course again no resin is created out of uh, formaldehyde gas which is created over here also from uh, this cellulose uh, fibers so it's it's two two step process this cellulose fibers is broken down into methanol gas which is then uh, converted into formalite gas with by usage of these uh, green catalysts and this methanol gas is also further uh, cracked up um, into uh, propane gas and from that we create liquid plastic and then solid plastic sticks and we also always need a lot of charcoal and uh, uh, what's what's the other thing called I always forget uh, you, you play the whole damn day carbon uh, but you don't uh, really pay attention how the things are called so basically those are all s used all over the place uh, to fuel uh, certain steps here in the in the process and currently this is all manual process so uh, every so often I have to go around to uh, fill up uh, all these uh, chests uh, or the uh, the whole pipeline uh, will break down then down here we have uh, resistors the same with the blue and uh, finally here we have the red circuits which currently are lacking because of a lack of uh, aluminium and down here then we uh, start with the uh, different uh, different called uh, science packs red and green are uh, straightforward at least what uh, basic resources uh, uh, are concerned but even at the, at the beginning you will struggle with uh, uh, probably with, with copper maybe also with, with tin uh, until you get uh, sufficient quantities of both produced then down here we have uh, the light blue which uh, as it looks like it's uh, it has just run uh, full here as you can see uh, it's not everything is uh, is backed up already then we have this uh, brownish uh, military signs which is fully backed up uh, so probably uh, I do not require that much of that in the uh, research then here more boards than the uh, blue variant uh, more components and same story all over then here um, pink science purple science and currently I am working on the yellow science because uh, let's have a look at the uh, tech tree uh, the next technology that I want to research is this one because then I can create a requester chests and that will be a big thing because then I don't have to uh, run around half the day to uh, fill up uh, some chests uh, and I can automate that with uh, 
robots. Um, but I'm not quite there yet, so that will be the, the next big step. And once I have that, then this uh, this small can can really take uh, take shape, and I can start uh, automating all these things because uh, belting everything around, uh, especially in in a limited set up like this it's it's just not uh, possible and also uh, creating the required materials every you where you need it not possible either so i hope uh, you enjoyed this a bit different video uh, that i had for you today if you liked it please leave a comment if you want to see uh, something else beside Minecraft. I would also like to see that uh, in, a, in a comment. I have some more ideas for different games that might fit in here. Um, I don't think I will play uh, Factorio uh, as, a, as a let's play, at least not uh, uh, these kind of complicated setup, because as you can see here uh it's already uh, 20 days and uh if i have a look at the uh tech tree it's not that much uh, that i have already done here so there is lot lots more to come so once again i hope you enjoyed this uh please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you next time. Goodbye!